Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just earlier today, I made a video on how to trace this dragonfly. And a good friend of mine lives a long way away. He said he'd just done it a couple of months ago and he inverted the colors. And so if you look, you could have two different distinguishing butterflies. But when you're going to do this, you need to do a couple of steps. And this is a edge light. And it's a pretty cool effect. So we're going to bring in our clip art. Let's just go ahead and move this picture over. We're going to make the yellow expand it out. I'm just going to go to trace, bitmap, outline, trace, and clip art, which I use the most or most of the time. And it's already done. And let's move it out of the way. And you can still see those might be some trash left in there like we showed today earlier, see that trash? So go up to object and group and ungroup, and then just grab that trash. It's just hidden stuff. Anyway, so this is the way you would do it normally, but now we're gonna make the white black, but we still need to remove the white. So what he did, and it makes good sense, is go up to object, or excuse me, go to effects, transform, invert colors. So now we have white, but you don't want the white because the white could engrave on that acrylic. So you need to put an outline around this thing to kind of give it some definition. So we're going to select it all. See what my nudge, my nudge factor is five inches, which is good. And I'm going to make a boundary around this guy and then move it out of the way. And you can see the boundaries are half a point which will work, you can make it a little bit thicker. You could go 0.75 or something, whatever you want to feel like. And also scale it with objects, so when you make it bigger. But now we need to get rid of the white of this. So we're going to use that same tool we used earlier, go to uh, edit, find and replace, open up the query, edit. Uniform fill, move this out of the way a little bit. Go to here to get your eyedropper tool and grab that white. And then hit OK and hit OK and then find all. And then when it's done, just hit delete. And then move your outline back. So it gave a little bit more definition. Now, with that said, there's still some gray parts and evidently this is some sort of watermark. So it'd be a lot easier to just take the white or the the yellow way so we won't be clicking whoop, so we won't be clicking on it all the time and just since it's a broken broken apart we can just click on those click off your item and well evidently I got to break it apart again no oh it's grabbing the outline so what we can do is just move that outline out of the way or I could have locked it. And then just take your pick tool and just touch on those and have one hand on the mouse and one hand on the, the uh, delete button and just go around and delete these lines. And you could possibly make some of them black. And then there's a few more. It's just, it's some sort of watermark or something on it to keep people from using it. There's another one right there and there's a couple up top. But after you're done, you've got it. That looks like an F, so it's definitely a watermark. And I think we have it. And then just move your outline back over, nudging it, it's the same thing. Now what I said earlier about um, scaling the object, because this thing's only <clears throat> less than four inches if you made it 10 inches, your line thickness is still the same. So you could have two different, if you were going to use two different uh, dragonflies on the same artwork, you've got to two totally different dragonflies. And if you put the yellow box around it, then go to object and order and back a page, you can see they're the same dragonfly, but totally different looking especially this curve right in here, 
that's a solid black curve where that's going to be the clear and this is just going to be the curve. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.